Welcome into the BSN Avalanche weekly breakdown presented by Huberger Subaru. No need to ever make the drive or set foot in a dealership. Huberger Subaru can do the entire deal remotely and bring your new car anywhere in Colorado as a courtesy. Ali Monroy here with BSN Avalanche beat writer Adrian Dater. The Av season came to a close Sunday night, but man, what a season it was. First of all, improving by 47 points, the fourth largest year-over-year -year increase in NHL history, and of course, making a Stanley Cup playoff appearance for the first time in four years. Oh, and hey, making the Nashville Predators work for it. <laughs> Dater, why do you think the Avs ultimately fell short in round one? Well, listen, um, number one, they didn't, they never had quite enough depth, especially defensively, to match with Nashville. That was even before the injuries happened that they had. Lost Eric Johnson, that was big. Uh, lost Sam Girard for three games, that was big. Uh, lost the number one goalie, that was big. <laughs> Lost their backup goalie for a while. That was big. Oh. So, look, the, the tank finally registered on E. But, uh, you know, to put the National Predators through six games was a tremendous accomplishment, I thought. Uh, they could have won one of those first two games. I think, it, I think when you look back at that series, they, they should have stolen one of those first two games. That's kind of where I think the series actually was lost. But in the end... You know, Nashville was always going to be the better team on paper and on the ice probably, no matter what, in this series. So that's what happened. But what a, what a ride it was and what a, what a memorable series it was. Um, we'll always have the Hamburglar for one night. Yeah. We'll always have the Catfish on the ice. We'll always have scaring them to death for, for a few days. And uh, to me, it was all just uh, gravy, house money. Uh, it, was a great, it was a great accomplishment. Well, Joe Sackett addressed the media in his year-end press conference. What were a few things you took away from that? Well, one of them, I think, was, uh, Allie, was he wants to get even younger and faster. So to me, that means a couple things. Guys like Blake Como, unrestricted free agent, probably not going to be tendered a new contract offer, I don't think, based on that. Um, Mark Barbario could be on the way out as well, another unrestricted free agent. Uh, we're going to have some kids come in next year like Connor Timmons, maybe Kel McCarr at the end of the year that are going to make this team younger and faster, I think. Um, the other thing was, yeah, we're not going to go chase probably the Stanley Cup right away with big name free agents. Now, that doesn't mean I don't think that they might not make a big offer to a big name free agent. But the point is, they're not going to, that's not their main priority of the offseason is spending a lot of money yeah. on big name guys, quote unquote. Uh, if there's a guy there that makes sense, I'm sure the Avs will do it. They have a lot of money on the cap to spend. But I think overall, the takeaway was younger, faster, uh, stay the model of building from within. And uh, if there's something around the fringes, then they'll do it. But otherwise, uh, younger, faster, that's the byword of this organization still. Head coach Jared Bednar was named one of three finalists for the Jack Adams Award. Do you think he has a shot of winning it? Well, no, because... Uh, <laughs> so fast to answer. Gerard Gallant of the Vegas Golden Knights yeah. is going to win that in a walk. He, uh, he took an expansion team, won a Pacific Division. They are up one nothing in the series in the second round. They swept the LA Kings in the first round. Uh, so, no. It's also the Vegas... The awards are in Vegas, so <laughs> that's even more of a, a factor that Gerard Gallant will win it there. He deserves it, though. Uh, yeah. The good news, though, is Jer uh, Jared Bednar gets a free trip to Vegas to be a finalist, gets to sit in the tuxedo in the crowd, accept congratulations from a lot of people on a great season. So that's still a win for Jared Bednar. Uh, <laughs> the fact that he's a Jack Adams finalist, what a, what a thing that probably none of us would have ever predicted before the season. Um, so, no, he won't win it, but he is already guaranteed a top three spot. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's another great thing for him. And he was rewarded with a one-year contract extension this week, yeah. too. That was another takeaway of the Joe Sackett press conference as well. Well, now that it is officially the off season, what are a couple of things you'll remember most from this team? Oh, so many things. But, uh, you know, geez, the, the Matt Duchesne trade in November kind of turned everything around in the locker room. I remember that. Probably the biggest thing you'll remember is the play of Nathan McKinnon this year, how he elevated to absolute elite level. Um, 
he's going to be a Hart Trophy finalist, I'm pretty sure. And I, my early sources are that, talking to some writer buddies of mine, that I think he's going to win it. Wow. I think he's going to win it. So um, that was something, you know, just the, 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 the final game against St. Louis, always remember that. They kind of stumbled down the gate a little bit, but they, they won that last game in front of the massive home crowd that was so fun, uh, beat the Blues, got in the playoffs. Um, that, those were the big takeaways. Just overall, it was just a great, great ride that uh, in my 24 years of covering the team ranks right up there with best time I ever had. Yeah, I agree. Something I'll remember the most is Game 3 at Pepsi Center. I had the opportunity to go, and man, I've been to a few playoff hockey games before, and I have never heard an arena be so loud. I had goosebumps. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. This, these Avs fans came out to show this team appreciation for everything that they've done. Yeah. It was awesome. And the standing ovation when they even lost 5 nothing at home Game 4, or Game 6. The ovation that they got was, was gave me a couple goosebumps. I'm sure it gave a lot of players goosebumps, too. It was a great thing to see. Well, the Av season may be over, but BSN Avalanche is still going to be posting content daily, so be sure to catch all of that on bsnavalanche.com. For Adrian Dater, I'm Allie Monroy, BSN Denver. Huberger Subaru is the largest dealer in the U.S., which means big inventory and better pricing.